Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Misfit AI. My name is Tim and today I'm going to be walking you through our very first image generation tutorial. Now, I just want to throw out some prerequisites before we start off. So just understand that this guide is 100% beginner friendly. That is the whole goal of this guide and why we're starting off with a program called SD Forge. Now the dope part about this program is you don't have to watch any of my other videos for any of this to make sense. It's all going to be right here contained in this video. And then there's going to be a video that I'm going to upload shortly after this covering some settings within SD Forge and getting more advanced and more intermediate knowledge as we go along. So a couple important things to note before we start. You need to have a GPU with at least 4 gigabytes of VRAM. And this will go from 4 gigabytes of VRAM all the way to 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But one of the most important things, regardless of your GPU size, is you need to make sure you have at least 32 gigabytes of system RAM installed on your local machine. Now, with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the description and you're going to see this instruction template that I've left out for us. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the link that says SD Forge Download and you're just going to click that. And what's going to happen is it's going to install this link right here within the GitHub repository. This is the one click installer for our SD Forge. Now the good thing about this is this already comes with our Python and everything we need already fully loaded into the program. So there's nothing we have to worry about conflicting. It's all just going to download and run and we're, it just work. It's just as simple as that. No Todd Howard bullshit involved. So now what we're going to want to do once we have this downloaded is we're going to make a, a folder called Forge. We're going to open that folder. And then we're simply going to go down to where this zip file is located. And for me, I'm using WinRAR. So we just right click and hit extract here. Now, once we do this, it's important that we wait and let everything finish. This is going to take just a couple minutes. And then once that's done installing, you're going to go to this next part here. So you're going to go to one and you see where it says select a guff model. So what we're going to do is we're going to be brought to this page. Now, an easy way to think about this page is look at this as each one of these file sizes not only represents how much memory is going to take on your solid state drive, but it also represents how much of the model is being loaded into your GPU. So think about it like this. Whatever size GPU you have, you want to find a file size that closely, closely matches that size of your GPU. This ensures that the model will run as fast as possible and be fully loaded onto our GPU. Now, once we have that out the way, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just click whatever one we want and we're going to download it. Then from there... We're, for me, I'm going to be using the Q4. So you're just going to take whatever GUF file you downloaded and you're going to hit cut. And then you're going to open up the web UI. All right. And then you're going to go to models. And then from here, we're going to simply click stable diffusion. Now we just paste. Congratulations. We have our model in the correct spot right off the bat. Now, from here, we're going to go down to the guide and we're going to go to step three. You may have to create a Hugging Face account for this part. That's very important because this is the official VAE from the Flux Git repo. How this works, if you end up getting a code telling you that you need to request permission, just simply create a Hugging Face account and request permission on the Hugging Face page. And this is going to be accepted immediately. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to be taken to this link right here. Now, I've brought it to this page to make it as simple as possible. This is the VAE. This is the file we need, and don't let any other tutorials tell you otherwise, because in some videos, it's renamed something completely different that's totally irrelevant to us. All right, so all you're going to do is click right here and click download. Now, once you got that downloaded, you're just going to do the same as before. Cut, open up your web UI, all right, and then we're going to go down to models. OK, and then we're going to go down to VAE, not VAE, uh, VAE approx, VAE, and then you're going to paste it there. Now we're going to move to the next step of our installation. Now on this page, which you'll find right here, OK, then here's the link for it. So this is going to take you to this page right here. 
The best way to explain this is this bottom option that I just highlighted. We're ignoring this, and this is the only file we're not downloading. So we're going to download Clip Safe Tensors. We're going to download T5 XS, uh, XXL FP16, and we're going to be downloading the FP8, and then we're going to be ignoring the one at the very bottom. Now, once you have these installed, it's very, very simple. So all you're going to do is you're going to click on all three of them, and then you're going to hit Cut. And then you're going to go and hit Web UI, and then you're going to go to Models. Now, from here, you're going to be looking for a file that talks about the uh, text encoder, which is right here. And then all you got to do is hit Paste. Congratulations. Now you have everything you need, just like that, to be able to run Flux as soon as you start the Web UI. So... How we run the web UI the first time is very important, guys. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the update button right here. And then this is going to take you to this command prompt. And you're going to hit run anyway. And now it's going to start up our installation. And all we got to do is just be patient and wait and let it do its thing. All right. Now, this is going to sometimes go pretty fast, sometimes go pretty slow. But... Once we're done, we're just going to follow. See how it says right here, press any key to continue. So we go ahead and we press any key. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and run it one more time just to make sure everything hit correctly. Boom. We're already up to date. Now we know everything ran correctly. Now we just simply hit run.bat. And then we hit more info, run anyway. Now, this may take a few seconds as well, but usually it's pretty quick. What's going to happen is once this finishes doing this thing, it's going to automatically open up our web browser to the page that we need to be on. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording right here. And then, whenever we come back, you'll notice we'll be on the page we need to be. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So, once your stuff is installed, you're going to see right here, it's going to say, Running on Local URL. So, if the web browser doesn't automatically open for you, all you got to do is hit left control on your keyboard and left click on your URL so it brings you to the proper page, okay? So, now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the page it opened up. So, here we are. Welcome to the SD Forge web UI. So if you notice here, I've typed in our first prompt just to make it easy for me. That way I don't have to type it in while I'm recording. And if you notice, our checkpoint is already loaded. But look at that. Right now we're on the UI page uh, for SD, for stable diffusion. But we're using a flux model. So what we need to do first is we need to come over here and hit flux. All right. Now, Notice it's asking the, GP, uh, the GPU weights. Now, what's important about this is this is going to be set a little bit less than our GPU. So what I do is I just knock it down to 23,000 is what I like to knock it down to. So we're just going to hit 000. All right. So now we're at a flat 23,000 and this is leaving one gigabyte of headroom for the GPU. All right. Now. From here, what we need to do is we need to go to our checkpoint tab. You see how we have flux dev q8 guff right there? So we just click that. Then we need to add our VAE and text encoders. So everything that's right here, we're going to add. Just making it very, very simple. Now, the FP8, you don't need to add this unless you want to, all right? Like, you can just run the... Uh, the FP16, but to make the generation faster, I'm just going to turn that off and I'm just going to have the FP8 ones. And then we're going to test out and we're going to do our first generation. All right. So a couple simple tips is first, since we're on a flux model, we need to have our steps, our sampling steps right here. We need to have this set to 30 because we're not going to get as good of quality generations out of flux unless we have this set to 30. And then what I else I like to do is a good resolution to stand by is 1024 by 1024. This is going to give us a nice crisp HD image without having it be too blurry and blocky. And we, we're just going to ignore all this shit. I didn't mean to to open up all this because we don't have to worry about none of that right now we'll cover more of this in depth in the next video but right now we're just focusing on getting you in here and getting your first image generated so now we're just simply going to hit generate and if you look at right here 
we're going to start seeing our system working. So if we go down to our GPU, we see it's loading up onto our GPU right now. It's important to keep an eye on this whenever we're generating our image for the first time. And our first image generation is going to take the longest out of each one. Each time we open up this program, it's going to take the longest the first generation to generate. After that, you already have the model loaded on your GPU and everything's just going to work simply from there. And then, in just a second here, it's going to be done. And now, boom. Look at that. This is on a Q8. And just look at the quality we have here. Look at how it's correctly spelling the text. Everything we wanted in our prompt, it's here. It even added a city background. And so this is one of the beautiful things about Flux and using SD Forge is it's a simple, easy way to start getting into image generation without making it too complicated and keeping it pretty simple. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video off right here. And then in the next video, if you're interested in what we need to set down here, and other case sampler settings that we can use to make our generations even better, then tune in to the next video in the series. But with all that said, guys, I'm Tim. This is Misfit AI. If you have any issues during the installation, the Discord is in the uh, description below, as well as the Patreon. If you're needing some troubleshooting help, feel free to join the Discord and hit me up. I'm the guy with the founder role named Tim in the Discord. Just shoot me a message and we can help you out. Alright guys, with all that said, I'm Tim, this is Misfit AI, peace.